haven't even made it into the main event yet. And to see those mad cars, that's insane. Our car got stopped on the way in so that Yanni and that could come in. And that wrap looks amazing. I don't know if I managed to get any footage because he came in as soon as I got out of the car and ran down to see him. So if you haven't already guessed, we're here for the Sean Brooks Charity Cars and Coffee event today. The weather is amazing and some of the cars I've already seen in there look insane. So I'm really excited to get into this. I don't know if I'll be able to film inside because of the music playing. So it might do a lot of cinematics. But I'll tour you around all the main cars and it should be an amazing event. So let's get in and see what's there. obsessed with the C63S. It's got Lewis Hamilton inspired livery and as you can see the pinstripe looks epic as it is but then if you go around the side at the matching sort of style of the branding with the Patronus on the side this is so cool it's so well done and it makes the car look so much more aggressive on the road. I already like the stance of it it's quite wide but it just there's something about this wrap it looks awesome. So we've just stumbled across a Performante Spider. It's actually the second one I saw both in Verde Mantis the ones I have seen. The other one I saw was in Monaco actually in the Monaco dealership but we went past it on the bus and literally couldn't get a single shot. But what are your thoughts on having a soft top track focus car? Personally, I think these look epic with the wing and the new design, so fair play. I definitely prefer this as a soft top over the hard top variant. The main event is all the way over there and there's some epic cars everywhere here. Check out this SV. This looks mad with the pinstriping on it. We've got loads of Lambos. This is like a Lambo corner. There's tons of them. Really nice Aventador S Roadster there. Another SV. And this, this is stunning. Nardo Grey Performante. How didn't I notice this? Alpri 670-4 SV. Just up behind that SV that I was talking about a minute ago. These are one of my favourite cars, for sure. And what is amazing about this one as well, it's got the flaps open. So I don't know if that's a button to open that, but it is awesome to see one of these. You know my obsession with wide body kits and I don't know if you can see behind me but the Liberty Walk GTR just leaving so I'm really hyped to see this on the road.
the main lunch at the Shinebrook's over now, which means loads of cars are leaving. And we've literally just got a LaFerrari pulling out any minute. This should be crazy to see some of the big cars here on the road. So that's the event done for us today. It's been crazy. There's been some amazing cars, but it's got a bit hectic towards the end. But anyway, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.